Hi, day four. Today I want to show you a neat trick to transcribe a video or really any audio. Um, if you upload it to YouTube, then you can grab the transcript from there. And then using just Microsoft Word, you can do a bit of a hack on it and process it with find and replace to remove the time codes that are in there. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, below the video that you've uploaded to YouTube, look for the three dots. Now, the placement of those can actually vary depending on your browser, it seems, or maybe it's to do with whether you've got Flash installed. I'm not quite sure. But basically, look for the three dots. They'll be near the red subscribe button. So if I click there and then open the transcript, you can see that YouTube automatically creates a transcript for a video that you upload or that somebody else has uploaded. So you can just select the text in this, say like so, and then just copy it to the clipboard. So having done that, I'll just select a portion here, not the whole thing, but you can select the whole thing if you want to. I'll just close that. Now if I flip over to Microsoft Word, what I've got here is some text I've already copied from a video previously. And you can see that alternate lines are these time codes as a single paragraph. And then we've actually got the, the text that YouTube's managed to generate just by examining the audio track and generating the English words from it. It's almost like magic. It's pretty, it's pretty accurate. One thing YouTube doesn't do though, it, it doesn't format, format those into, a sentence, into sentences. So it's pretty good at spotting proper nouns, but it's not gonna put commas in there or full stops, question marks, things like that. It does put apostrophes in, so for isn't and it's, words like that. Um, so we just wanna remove these time codes. So we've got a, um, like a raw transcript that then you can go through and put, put in full stops and so on and then maybe publish it on your blog or what, whatever you want to use, use it for. Uh, one uh, workflow with this might be that maybe you do a rough draft of the audio without uh, a script and then you upload that video to YouTube, download the transcript from there and then you can edit the transcript and say, oh, really, I want to say it this way. And then you've got yourself a script for the next draft of the video or for the final version of the video. So that's pos one possible workflow. So to get rid of these time codes, we use this find and replace dialog box. So you can just open that with control H is the shortcut or just go through the menus. Um, I believe it's on the home tab and then We'll put in this code, which I'll, I'll go through in a moment to explain what all that means. But basically, a key thing you need to do is click more here and then choose use wildcards because that interprets the code that I've entered in the correct way to find the, the time codes in the document. What I'll do is just nip out of there. I'll go to this other document. So here's uh, that code that I put in, the wildcards that I put into the find and replace dialog box. I'll just talk you through them. So in square brackets, the zero to nine means any single digit. And then we've got two comma in curly brackets. That means two of those. So in other words, we've got two digits in succession, followed by a colon, then another thing that looks the same. So this is a way of finding two digits, followed by a colon, followed by another two digits, and then the last code here, carrot 13, that's just the way of looking for a carriage return, or um, like a paragraph mark, rather, in Microsoft Word, when you've got the wildcards switched on. So I'll just go back to the other document we're looking at, with the transcript in it, open the find and replace again. So I've put in that code that we were just looking at, and we want to get rid of those paragraphs altogether. So in replace with, I've just got the box empty. So oh, I see it's taken what use wildcards off again. So if I switch to use wildcards on and then say find next, there it goes. It's selected the first time code complete with the paragraph mark after it. So now I can just say replace all and it will get rid of all of those time code paragraphs. There we go. 
So now what we want to do really is get rid of the the other paragraph marks in here too that YouTube has just put in arbitrarily after every few words between each time code that was in there before. So they get rid of all that and just say this time I want to replace just the paragraph marks so that's that carrot 13 wildcard and I'll replace them with just a single space so then we'll just get continuous text. So if I replace all that bingo there we go now we've got some text that we can go through and capitalize the first word and put in full stops whatever other punctuation you want and there you go there's your, your free script from a video on YouTube. So that was day four. See you tomorrow.